And now I get the pleasure to introduce Rod. Um, and he is uh, executive director of Riverview Conference Center um, in Cedar Falls. And uh, trying to think how we did first. Oh, I know. It was um, through the golf outing thing um, yeah. that another uh, person introduced us and you know really looking at technology and, and getting on to online for different things but I just had the pleasure to sit down with Rod and, and meet with him and learn about him and a bit more background on uh, lots of things he's experienced in life to make him the expert where he is um, some different background stuff not always in the nonprofit field um, but it certainly helps where he's at. And so he and his wife live right there on Riverview Conference Center. Um, and was so excited I got to go and speak with the, the board um, and stay right there on the site. Which my whole family, it, it was one of the best things that we had in the last year. So we, we really appreciate that. Um, and so it was kind of more of an off-season time for the conference center and, and the um, concerts and things that way. But I know while I was there, there was a retreat going on on the grounds, um, tons of cabins all throughout. Um, and, and I'm really going to let you, Rod, explain more on your background and, and what the conference center is. Um, but just know Rod is, is a really uh, special and amazing person, and I'm very glad that our paths have connected. Well, thanks, Andy. Um, like Andy said, I, I my background is probably a little different uh, than a lot of people, um, but I spent most of my years uh, in law enforcement, either um, a uniformed officer or uh, uh, undercover officer, uh, and then in later years I uh, kind of made a transition transition into the corrections side of law enforcement and uh, I ran some facilities I designed some facilities and uh, then I trained staff how to equip them and and uh, run them when they were up and running and uh, through that whole thing um, throughout our married life um, we had a lot of uh, issues with uh, our kids uh, some some things happened earlier in our marriage. Uh, we struggled financially, and so we went through a lot of deep water. And uh, you know, we were we were bitter and we were angry, and we always kept asking why. And one of the things that uh, I was determined was that I would never be in full time ministry anywhere because I could see the struggles and and the battles that some fought. Well, uh, the Lord in all his wisdom uh, sent me <laughs> to be on the board here. And uh, I was on the board for several years, and then we had to uh, terminate our uh, executive director. And uh, the board tried to run this place remote control for a while, and we found out that we could make it run, but we couldn't make any progress. There was no forward movement, and there was a lot of things that needed some attention and stuff. And long story short, the board um, encouraged me to come here and take over this operation, uh, partly because it was a passion of mine, and secondly, um, after getting out of the law enforcement field, I took over a couple of restaurants, and uh, I was very successful at that. And the board found out about that and thought that I needed to come here. So after several months of encouragement and negotiating, uh, we finally consented to come to Riverview and have not looked back. We're, we're happy to be here. Uh, it's just like any other operations. We have... Uh, good days and bad days, but most days are good days, and uh, we we really feel like the Lord has placed us here for a reason, um, and that's been kind of evident in some of the things we've been through in our life, 
and wondered why we were experiencing those bad things, if you will. But uh, we weren't here very long, and we figured out that uh, the Lord, we were in a training camp, and we were being prepared to come here. So we are here and happy to be here, and hopefully that uh, the, the Lord can preserve us and keep us healthy and we can continue to do what we're doing here so yeah that's awesome thank you and and how long have you been there now as the director uh uh, since november of 2012 so be going on five years this fall wonderful well um so tell me a little bit more. Tell us um, what tell what Riverview Conference Center is. Riverview Ministries. Give us just kind of a snapshot of what that is all about. Um, Riverview Conference Center is 27 acres. Uh, we we're right along the Cedar River. We overlook the Cedar River. And uh, we have a retreat center that sleeps 60, and we have a an event center that uh, we can seat about 1,200 people. And then we have another building that's Fellowship Hall where we have a lot of weddings and family reunions and class reunions and just all kinds of different functions. Uh, uh, we usually have some quilting retreats and a Christian Writers Conference and New Life Church of the Cedar Rapids has their um, retreat here. Um, and then we also have a nine-day Bible conference where we bring speakers in from the outside. And then throughout the year, we have several Southern Gospel music concerts. And our goal is to reach people who are discouraged and downhearted and try to encourage them and um, at the same time, also reaching out to people who don't know the Lord, uh, and then also reaching out to people who are kind of down on their luck. We've we've kept mm-hmm. some uh, women who needed shelter for a day or a week or whatever, and so we we just reach out to people to do what we can do to make their life better. Mm-hmm. That's really. Really amazing. There, there's a lot of different things going on. I I was really fortunate to be able to come in and, and be part of a board meeting um, just to share more about Be Well, God Bless. And, and so I was able to meet many of the, the volunteers and the leaders and the department heads and things. And uh, there's so many things that it takes to, to make this all run and, and put together. I guess that's something I forgot to mention, Angie, is... Uh, Although we're Riverview Ministries, we actually have uh, four ministry teams. One is the Cedar Falls Bible Conference ministry team. Then we have uh, what we call guest services team. And when we have wedding receptions and reunions and stuff like that, um, they prepare meals for anywhere up to 300 people. Um, and then we have uh, our music ministry team who schedules concerts and oversees those. And then we have a women's ministry team who um, brings in uh, women speakers or music for women's conferences. Um, last Saturday, we had a simulcast from Priscilla Shire, and that went really well. So, uh, And then we've also got another gal who heads up our volunteer ministry, and she uh, is in charge of about 60 volunteers that um, Mm -hmm. we we couldn't run this place without volunteers because we just couldn't afford to pay enough staff so uh, we're pretty blessed by volunteers Uh, actually all of those ministry teams are volunteers that's awesome yeah and and it volunteers are wonderful Wonderful people. So are you looking for more volunteers then if if somebody wants to step forward? We're always looking for volunteers. Uh, For example, uh, the Bible Conference um, and any of our music concerts usually take around 30 volunteers for each event. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So we're always happy when somebody steps up and says, I want to help. And how many concerts a year did you say that you guys do? Well, last year we had eight. This year we're having 14. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, Yeah, busy. And for tickets, um, do you have season tickets available or is it individual concerts or what is the the format for Uh, that? Yep. You can buy a season ticket for the whole year, or you can buy individual tickets. Uh, We also have a week in July uh, that's known as our Riverview Gospel Sing, and you can buy tickets just for that week also. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, Wednesday, Thursday night concerts with a women's conference in the daytime on Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday we start the music at 10 o'clock in the morning. We go till 10 o'clock at night. Wow, that's cool. So just one right after the other. Yeah. And this location is so, so beautiful. I I didn't know uh, that it existed or, or where it was at. And it's just, you know, right um, right off of the, the main drag. But when you drive back into there, you know, like you said, you're overseeing the river. Um, there's a beautiful cemetery right by there. It, it's kind of a hidden gem, I would say. It is. Um, it It is, well, our sign at the entrance says a place set apart, and it truly is. Once you get on the ground, you kind of forget you're even in the city of Cedar Falls, unless you hear a siren or something, but otherwise it's so quiet and relaxing back here that you just forget that you're in town. Mm-hmm. And where is it located if somebody's from, from the area there that wants to go check out the concert? Uh, 439 North Division. Um, It's off of 1st Street in Cedar Falls, and the biggest landmark there is the Four Queens uh, Ice Cream Store. Everybody knows where that is. Well, if you just go north three blocks, you're there. Yep. And there's also a really cool uh, Frisbee golf course all throughout the grounds and and a couple playgrounds. That's I know where I was at with my family when we stayed there. That. that was awesome. Um, is there any um, stories like for people that come to the events or you know how you're helping people through the different activities? Because it's a lot of work to put these on. Um, do you ever get to, to see the ripple effect that it's creating in other people's lives? We have. Uh, as a matter of fact, I get two brief stories. One was. Uh, Last year, during our music event in July, we had a women's conference, and then at night we had a a special group in. And after that uh, concert was over, there was four gals uh, standing in a circle, and they were just crying. And so I went to them, and I said, is there anything we can help you with? And they said, no. We went to the ladies' conference this afternoon, and then this music tonight. They said, "How can you get any better than this?" They were just so encouraged. Wow. And then we had a Danny Goki concert here last summer, mm-hmm. and uh, Danny sang that song. Uh, Help! Uh, let's see, what is it? Help my heart to beat again. Tell my heart to beat again. And the next day, I usually make. Um, the rounds on the grounds. I was walking across the yard and there was two pieces of paper there. So I picked them up and instead of wadding them up and throwing them in the trash for some reason, I decided to see what was on it. And it was a note that a gal had written during Danny Goki's concert. And it said that she had had a car accident uh, a year prior and she was in so much pain and so much hurt and just struggling, and she had made plans to end it all. Mm-hmm. And she came to that concert, and Danny sang, Tell My Heart to Beat Again. And she said, I got it. I got it. Wow. That kind of stuff just makes it all worth it. <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm sure that happens so much that you don't know and realize you know unless this would have been on the ground you never would have had a clue about that 
and so That's right. yeah. just how amazing the stories are that happen outside of your your grounds there that um, that do just impact the lives of, of others, which then impacts even more lives. So uh, yes. thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Um, well, is there uh, anything, anything else that you'd like to share with us that I did not ask you about or, or any other um, information or, or stories? or? Boy, I can't think of anything right at this point. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to um, sign off on this recording, but we'll um, go through a few, few more things here. Um, but again, thank you so much, Rod, for what you do and for all of the, the team and all of the volunteers and everybody there uh, at the Riverview Conference Center and, and Ministries. It's just a, an amazing ministry that you're doing. And so I, I thank you for doing it. So. You're welcome. We enjoy it. It's our pleasure. So well, thank you for what you're doing. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm excited to just let more people know about the the truly great things that God is calling people to do, <clears throat> because it it is it just there's more lives that need to be impacted, and I'm I'm honored to be able to to make some connections so more people know about them. Well. All right, well, I'm going to stop this recording and say be well and God bless. Thank you.